Car buyers' habits are changing fast. Ten years ago, family motorists bought something the size of a Mondeo, Vectra or Passat. Today the picture is very different indeed. If you can afford the extra and don't need the space, you'll probably be buying a 3 Series, an A4 or a C-Class. And if you do need the capacity, like it or not, you'll go for broke with an MPV. You can see the problem Ford faced with its new Mondeo. Aspiration is now the key. Ford wants you to want a Mondeo again. So on top of the strength of the old car, there's more emotion to the whole idea of Mondeo ownership. Good design sells, and it's hard to argue the new Ford is anything but a fine looking device. The muscular exterior cleverly disguises the car's bulk. The new Mondeo is big, only an inch or two shorter than an E-Class Merc. Thank the pronounced curve to the roofline and the exaggerated wheel arches for the deception. There's nothing deceptive about the space inside though. Wider and longer than before, front seat occupants get extra shoulder space, while those in the back can stretch out in real comfort. As for luggage capacity, well, you practically need a torch to see into the corners of the boot. The Mondeo scores highly for the quality of its cabin too. The dash is so soft touch it's almost like rubber, nothing creaks or rattles and from air vents to seat design the ambience is overwhelmingly premium. This is all pretty amazing for a car that you can buy for just £14,995. This top Titanium X version gets a titanium finish inside, obvious really, but importantly much nicer than the nasty plastic wood that comes in the gear. There's Bluetooth mobile phone control on the steering wheel, as well as buttons for the impressive Sony Multi-CD system. But at 24 grand, it doesn't have sat-nav or parking sensors, which suddenly seems rather disappointing. The engine here is the same as you'll find in Ford's very hot hatch, the Focus ST. With five cylinders and 220 brake horsepower, it's not the typical company Mondeo, but it certainly has appeal to those who appreciate a fine drive. This is the best of both worlds with the low down pulling power of a diesel and acceleration that never falters right past 6,000 RPM. The 0-60 to 60 time of 7.5 seconds is only half the story. This Mondeo achieves it also effortlessly and with much refinement. The steering and handling is up there with prestige competition too. Despite its size, it's easy to place in the corner and on these massive 18 inch rims, there's more grip than you know what to do with. Above all, the Mondeo in this guise is fun to drive. Is it all enough to bring buyers back to the Mondeo? Probably not. The prestige bandwagon now has too much momentum, and Ford's own excellent S-Max doesn't help the Mondeo's case either. But if you believe family motoring still means a decent-sized saloon, hatchback or estate, then you can't argue against the new Mondeo. As for good points, while well, the styling cleverly disguises the enormous space inside, there's good interior design and it's a rewarding driving experience. As for the downside, well, it needs sat-nav and parking sensors at this price, there's questionable wood trim in some versions and the Mondeo depreciation has always been heavy.